Days after the deadly violence in Beirut killed several of his movement's members, Hassan Nasrallah has broken his silence. The Hezbollah leader accused snipers from the Lebanese forces, a Christian party, for starting the most violent confrontation in the city in years. The biggest threat to social peace in Lebanon is the Lebanese forces and its leader. The biggest threat. The Hezbollah leader warned that his Iran-backed militant group had 100,000 fighters, outnumbering even Lebanon's armed forces, estimated at about 85,000. 100,000 fighters who are trained, organized, structured, armed, experienced, spiritual and ready for combat. I am obliged to reveal this number for the first time to prevent war, not to threaten a civil war. The Lebanese forces leader had already denied last Friday that his group were involved in the bloodshed. He said that residents of a Christian neighborhood had been defending themselves against provocative Hezbollah militiamen. Last Thursday's fighting broke out amid tensions over the judge leading the probe into last year's port explosion that killed more than 200 people. Supporters of Hezbollah and Shiite ally Amal had rallied to call for the judge to step down, accusing him of bias suggesting that he's leaning towards holding them responsible for the blast.